which is the JTA Jobs and Transportation Act that was uh, approved by the Oregon Legislature, earmarked investment for the Port of Morrow to be able to construct roads and improvements to help interconnect the port's industrial park to the different modes of transportation that we have here located at the Port of Morrow. I think we constructed about five miles of roads that ties into Highway 730. It also grids our industrial properties that we're expanding onto for creating jobs in the region. It's opening up in excess of 1,500 acres of zoned industrial property that the port owns. We're starting to see those investments being made with these new infrastructure improvements that we're in the middle of and completing. The Port of Morrow is strategically located along the Columbia River where the freeway, interstate highway, and the railroad all come together. It's a mecca for freight mobility. There isn't any other place like this in the Northwest. The Port of Morrow has invested a lot of money in infrastructure. When a client comes to the Port of Morrow, you can expect roads are already built, water lines are installed, uh, sewer lines available, highways are built, flat ground, easy build. It makes it real easy for a company when they come in here to look. We can show them a piece of property that's ready to go. The facility that's uh, directly behind me is a company called Calbee Foods, the largest snack company in Asia, and they actually produce a product called uh, Jagabee. It's shipped in all over uh, Asian markets, and uh, they ship uh, about 30 containers a week of refrigerated product. In the beginning, we sent our entire product to Japan, but now we also send it to Hong Kong, Korea, Taiwan, and China. This has been made possible in part for the location of the plant being close to transportation with services such as barge system and trucking availability and having three ports available to us to ship, making the door-to-door -door from Borman to Asia in a timely and cost-efficient manner. The port over the years has been pretty fortunate to attract a lot of diversity. We have diversity in our ag industry, whether it be uh, potato production, whether it be vegetable processing or onion processing or cheese production. We have ethanol production, which is an energy-related production facility for ethanol gas out of grain ethanol. We have 500 megawatt gas-fired plant here. We have freezer warehouses. We have planer mills. We have mint stills. We have data centers. We're just kind of a diversified in a lot of different ways. Sustainability for Boardman Foods is one of our top priorities. The Port of Morrow has been beneficial in helping us with those initiatives, one of which is reducing our carbon footprint. The daily rail service that we enjoy here in the Port of Morrow is only made possible by the staff and working together with the Union Pacific. We're world traders here. Uh, a lot of our business are international and they need to get to markets. We're starting to see hundreds of millions of dollars of investment with these new infrastructure improvements that we're in the middle of and completing. The key for the Oregon legislature is to continue to make investment in infrastructure. It's an important strategy that you have to have the investment in order to make jobs and help the economy of this state and look forward to seeing commitments into the future as well.